of quick surface. In this uh, tutorial, we will learn about uh, mesh sectioning. We need mesh sectioning to define 2D sketches for the purposes of a revolved and extruded surfaces. Quick surface provides a nice and easy tools to create these uh, 2D sketches, extract the reference points, and then create sketches on top of them using them as a reference. In order to create a 2D sketch, you need to select the 2D sketch from the toolbar. And it gives you the two ways of defining this section. Quick surface has uh, 2D sketches of two types. Based on what you are going to use this sketch for, it has a sectioning for the extruded surface or revolved surface. At later stage, you cannot change this. You always, if you build a um, sketch which is for extrusion, it automatically, as you will see later, it will create an um, extruded surface, or if you create a sketch for revolved surface, it automatically will create a full rotational revolved surface. The 2D sectioning is based on a plane and uh, goes through the reference mesh and extract the points for your reference. You can align the, um, the plane to be aligned to one of the parallel to the main planes like the bottom, the left one and the front one. You can choose this from the drop down menu or you can just define it to be perpendicular to a cylinder if you want, if you have such a thing. And then what you can do with this plane is if you see the white uh, plane on the screen, you can just point with the mouse on top of this plane and you just drag it. We also display an arrow because in some cases you may just place the object like this one and then the only way you can move the plane is just by dragging the plane using the arrow. Just hold the left mouse buttons on the arrow, move the mouse and lift the left mouse button. The same you can do if you just point the mouse on the plane. So when you lift your left mouse button it's automatically will create your section. Also, you can fine-tune the offset from the origin where this plane should be. If you press OK, a 2D sketch will be created and we'll learn in the next tutorial how you actually can create uh, primitives in this uh, sketch and you can create uh, extruded and revolved surfaces. I'll just delete this for now and let's take a look a bit more about the um, revolved surface. If I select revolved surface, by default it just takes the axis. You can uh, uh, get the axis around which you will define your section. For example, here it just takes that my rotation will be around the z-axis and you can align your sketch to be on the x-axis, rotate around the x-axis, y-axis. Of the axis. Also, we have interactivity here. You just take the, the arrow and you rotate. And when you drag with the mouse, it's actually because it knows it's a, for rotation, it will just take the axis, which is uh, the axis of um, revolution, and you rotate. Let's uh, take a look a little bit more about this example. Um, we have Align this object, we'll take it from top, but I see here there is a kind of a cylindrical surface. I created a cylinder which makes the best fit through this, and definitely this is a, my center of uh, revolving. So, although we may model this uh, with um, planes and cylinders for the purposes of demonstration, I'll just show you that. We can extract this uh, profile here and then we can use it as a reference for constructing a revolved surface. So for this purpose I will just select my area of interest, in this case with the magic wand. I just click in this part. So this is what I need to use when I extract my um, sketch. Also here because of the curvature it didn't select my corners. So I can do some manual stuff here and just paint a little bit. You don't need to, to do everything. 
this way you're interested in doing so. In this case, I will just press OK and create a 2D sketch. Now I need to select the revolve for the revolve circle. By default, it takes the um, Z axis. And there is one interesting option that it's called through selection only. If you have some selection on the mesh, the software automatically will not do the section through the whole mesh, but only through the selected triangles. If we can always turn this on and off, and if I turn off, as you see, it just goes through this, uh, the other th triangles. I can just even move a little bit so you can see better what, why this makes sense. If I put this on, it also only uses the, the um, selected triangles. I put this on purpose not to be aligned on the z-axis. So just to demonstrate that we have abilities to select the cylinder. If I choose the cylinder, it actually takes the, takes the axis of the cylinder and this will be used for my section. And now I can adjust this and get the, the section which I want and then I can press OK. And then I can see extracted points into the sketch edit mode where I can reconstruct this. The construction we will cover in the next video. Let's load now a bit more complex example like this one. This is a partially scarred impeller. I can take a look from the top, I see that it's properly aligned. And if I take a look at from the front, I see that there is a profile which is uh, really uh, necessary to extract so we can trim this and reconstruct the surface. But if we look at this, it's kind of a, it doesn't go, it doesn't have one single profile and I'll demonstrate to you what actually happens. So let's uh, first uh, just uh, select this profile. I'll just use the line selection tool quickly. You can do this much more precise so you can get more information. And also we'll need this uh, from the bottom. Here yeah, I can use this um, magic wand and take this to define the, my bottom profile. But here I just need to walk on the um, contour and I will do this by selecting my area. Yeah. So now we kind of um, pre-selected what we, our point of interest is and let's take a look at the tools of uh, Quick Surface and how they can help us in this case. So I go again into the sketch mode and I will select that I'm going to build a section for the purposes of Revolve Surface. In this case it goes through the Z axis and I just start dragging my section. As you see here, it started extracting my points so this will be the point that will be used and this also and here and here so I just uh, try to extract them the problem is that whatever I do I can never get all these points into the same sketch so here is where the last option of the section comes and it's called stacked section what it does actually it takes the, the 360 degree split this into 20 sections and build all of them and put them into the same sketch plane. So in this case, I can just type in probably 200. If I apply, as you see, it actually creates 200 sections, extract all of them and put them into the single profile. So in this case, as you see now, my sketch correctly defines and gives us a um, good feeling what the actual profile will be. Even I, I can make 300 to get even more denser representation and when I'm happy I can press OK. In this case, as you see here, now we have a lot of points extracted and we can easily see what our profile is and how we can reconstruct it later using all the primitives like curves, lines, and tangent arcs. This was all of how to extract points for the needs of uh, 2D sketching.
take a look at our next tutorial where we actually will learn how to reconstruct these and create the cut surfaces. Thank you for watching.